Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. I'm going to show you how to design and create a 3D ball design just like this. This is custom. It's kind of ugly, but that's not the point. Let me walk you through the steps one by one. First step, delete everything. Let's start from scratch. Go over to your left side, grab the rectangle tool. We're going to create tall, thin rectangles like this. This one's green. I don't really like that color, so let's go with something like, uh, let's go with a purple. Okay, I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option key and I'm going to hover over it with the selection tool selected <clears throat> and I'm going to pull it to the side. This creates a duplicate copy and in this case I'm going to have them so that they're touching. The second copy, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the purple and I'm going to make this one, I don't know, let's make this one yellow for the heck of it, okay? And then we'll do it one more time, hold down the Alt or the Option key, pull to the right, make sure they're connected and this one will be purple, yellow and then this one can be some sort of red, okay? There we go, we've got this cool look. All right, we're on our way. Now I'm gonna select all three of these little rectangles, these tall, thin rectangles, hold down the Alt or Option key, and I'm just gonna make a duplicate copy, something like that, make sure they're connected, and do it one more time so we've got it kind of almost across the whole screen. This is not required, but this is how we create the custom design. This is the ugly design I'm going with. Okay, good. <clears throat> I'm just gonna center them. Now, the next step is you go to your Symbols uh, workspace here, your Symbols panel, that's better, more accurate, Click on the hamburger menu up at the top right here. Click on new symbol. When you do that, you can name this, I don't know, we'll do this ugly. We're going to call it ugly, and you've got a new symbol. Click on OK. Now the design is done. That's the hard part. Now let's create the 3D ball. Delete all that stuff. Go over back to the left side. Grab your ellipse tool. Click on it, pull it out, and hold down the shift key to make it symmetrical. There we go. We've got a symmetrical sphere. It doesn't matter what color it is because we're going to make the changes to it next. Before we do that, head over here and grab your direct selection tool. This is the most important step. This little anchor point right here, and just this anchor point, you need to delete it. We want half a circle because then we're going to revolve that so that it looks correct. If you leave it at a whole circle, it'll look silly and it'll look like a big massive donut. Okay, we've deleted half of the circle. Perfect. Now we're going to go up to Effect. We're going to go to 3D and Materials, and then we're going to go to Revolve. Click on that, and presto, we now have an awesome 3D ball effect. That said, we want to add in our little design, right? It was kind of ugly, but whatever. Go over here to Materials, click Materials, and then there you go. It'll say Ugly, or whatever you named yours as. Click on that, and presto, it's applied. It is not quite long enough, so I'm just going to go ahead uh, and grab the Selection tool. And I'm just going to increase the size a little bit. Now that wasn't quite right. Let's go ahead and just pull down maybe something like that. There we go. Now, let go, click out. We have an extra ugly ball. Thanks for watching.